okay, 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 okay. So I just hit, I just peered into the Pandora's box of my passion, of what drives literally all of my passion, all of my determination, my enthusiasm. I just took a little peek into that Pandora's box. We'll get to what I'm talking about in just a moment. I'm still reeling. I literally just got home probably five minutes ago. Yeah, five minutes ago. There, there's other noise going on around here. It's not perfect. I don't really care. I have to get this out right now. I'm taking my coat off now. Also as evidenced by, I haven't changed that <laughs> since the last video. So, okay, starting from earlier today. So today is Tuesday. Um, it's about 10, it's precisely 10 actually, weird. Um, most of my Tuesdays, um, at least when I wanna see a movie is movie Tuesday. You know, all the movie tickets are kind of cheap on Tuesday. That's like the day that movie theaters try and get people to go because I, whatever, whatever, whatever. I haven't seen a movie in theaters since Rise of Skywalker. Um, this video is not about Rise of Skywalker. Um, and I had been wanting to see Ford v Ferrari in 1917 for a while. Ford v Ferrari is a little bit older. I wanted to see 1917 in IMAX. So I made time today to go see it. And if you had watched my previous video um, about hustle culture and everything, it would be obvious that I wasn't in such a good place earlier this week because of my running injury, it's kind of turned around by <laughs> after all that today. Um, I'm feeling quite a bit of energy and passion right now. So um, I'm a little bit squirrely. Uh, <laughs> okay, focusing in, focusing in, focusing in, focusing. So I just got back from Ford v Ferrari in 1917, right? Both great movies. And this is not what this video is about either. It's about Pandora's box, Pandora's box, Pandora's box. So when I was young, um, I watched a lot of movies. I was a normal kid. Um, I saw kids movies when I was really young, but as I got old, older, my dad started showing me more mature, more mature movies. Um, and I got exposed to like some of my favorite movies of all time, like Back to the Future. Um, whenever someone asked me what my favorite movies are or favorite movie is singular, I always tell them that I have two. Uh, Back to the Future as one continuous story. I just love all of that. And Shawshank Redemption for the serious movie. Both movies I saw when I was younger, not too young. I know Shawshank Redemption is pretty intense. My point is, is I loved movies when I was a kid and I didn't really know it yet. Um, and whenever I got out of a movie, I would always feel like super amped, like especially if I went and saw like a James Bond uh, adventure movie, just like, oh yeah, let's go, let's go. And it, like, it doesn't, I feel like a lot of people experience that, right? When they're watching the movie, but I experienced that when I was a kid, way past after we left the theater, as we're driving home, I experienced that way longer than I thought was normal. And I thought that that was really weird. And I didn't really express it very much, right? I just kept it to myself, even when I was old enough to drive myself to movies and I would see a really fun movie that really got me amped or had an awesome message and, and hit me right you know, in the heart. I, I internalized it and you know, the drive home I'd be, kicking it in gears, because at that time I actually had a manual car, so I was kicking those gears around. I, I just felt like that, that action hero, I felt like the protagonist. I was immersed in the movie and the, the messaging, and it affected me afterwards. And I always thought that that was really, not really weird, I just thought that that was weird, and I didn't really express that. And I still don't express it very much until this very moment. This very moment, I peered into the Pandora's box of passion. Um, my driver was, my drive home was about 45 minutes, so I had a little bit of time to think about what I was gonna say here. <laughs> so I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. Literally today, I figured out that movies and film are one of the biggest, if not the biggest, driving factors for my life. Um, that might seem dramatic, but 
I'm really passionate person. And I think that's because I know what I'm passionate about. I indulge myself in those passions. Another one is band. I, that's no secret, um, I'm sure. And I'm, I'm just was so insanely fortunate to have discovered those passions, those driving forces that get you feeling like you could kick, take on the world and kick some ass, right? Those, that, that, those things are what is inside my Pandora's box of passion. And I keep saying it like a Pandora's box because that's how it feels, right? Every once in a while, I get to open that up and creak it and peer into it. Maybe some unconsciously just peer into it and I feel the, the, the surge, the, the surge and the motivation in the raw passion that I, that's inside there. And I've been, I've been peering into that periodically. Jeez, I really, I really go too far into the alliteration. I go, I, I go off with alliteration. But seriously, I, I've been periodically peering into Pandora's box of passion for a long time. And they come in little spurts, like seeing a really awesome movie, watching Back to the Future for the 50th time, or performing in marching band. I get those little moments of just raw energy, passion, and drive. And that, and it, and it feeds my soul. Those are the moments that really, that I live for. And I think we should all live to find those moments that drive our soul, our very, being. And today I figured out without a doubt that one of those things is film. And that is not something I've ever doubted. I just put it all together. It was a puzzle and I put all the jigsaw pieces together and now I see the picture. And what's so cool is that now I know how deep my passion goes for, for movies in film, there is absolutely nothing. There is absolutely nothing that, that can get in the way of me pursuing that passion. And that was my second revelation is that there's, there's nothing in the world that could stop me. Not too long ago, someone asked me or made me think about like how long I've been doing video work and how long I like movies and all that stuff. And it's really hard to pinpoint when. It, ever since like elementary school, my, my parents gave me a camcorder and I was out shooting videos with my friends. There was never a single moment since then that I have ever doubted that, that, that this is what I want to do. And when I, when one has a singular goal, a singular direction that is constantly pulling them towards it, there is nothing that can stop them. No matter what gets in the way, no matter what happens in one's life, there is absolutely nothing that anybody else can do to stop that person. So I'm just warning you, if you're watching this and you try and stop me, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's what this video is about, is me warning you to, to stay out of my way. <laughs> In short, today is an important day. Now I'm fully committed. I've opened Pandora box and there's no going back. And the special thing is, is that all of you get to be here for it. You all get to be here for the beginning of it. No matter where this journey takes me, no matter where this passion leads me to, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking wild. And it's gonna be my life. That will be my life. 
and I could not be any less excited about it. So from this day forward, I will no longer suppress any of that energy and that passion that I feel for movies. No longer am I gonna tell myself that it's weird and you shouldn't show that to other people. You shouldn't suppress it. You need to show everybody the full breadth of your passion. And if they think that's weird, if they call you crazy, then they just don't get it. And that's okay because they have to find their own passion. In relation to my Pandora's box spiel, I want to announce a new video series on this channel called Video Boot Camp, not inspired by 1917. I came up with the name before I saw those two movies. It's gonna be a very long video series about starting from the basics of video making, from cameras, elements of design, all the way up to professional level film. We're gonna go through every single topic and I wanna hear from all of you. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about, anything specific, then go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below. Or if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can check me out there. Um, I post on my story every once in a while and um, whenever I want interaction or feedback from all of you, um, it'll show up on my Instagram story. I posted something earlier today asking that very same question. I already got a lot of great feedback. But speaking of Instagram, I have some shout outs that are long overdue. I was supposed to do it last video, but I got on such a rant that I completely forgot. So, um, Cole Tippett says, fire up chips. Fire up chips, Cole. There's your shout out. Morgan Barbrett says, love this confidence, keep doing you. Thanks, Morgan. Also, she says, Qdoba is the go-to. And something I didn't mention is between the movies, I actually went to Qdoba, so. Weird coincidence. There's been a lot of weird coincidences today. I'm not spiritual, but a lot of things told me that today was special. And I'm glad that I figured out why. <laughs> Brandon McIntosh says, can I use your set for adult content? Do you mean like watching a rated R movie? I I'm not sure exactly what you mean by adult content. Do you want me to just swear more often? Do you want to come in and swear on camera? Yeah, Brandon, you can use my set for adult content. <laughs> said, Absolutely, I'll direct. <laughs> oh. And then the last shout out goes to my brother for um, his Christmas gift to me this past Christmas, which were these LED strips that helped me put together this set right here. So thanks, brother. And if you want a shout out on a future video, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will post on my story when I am recording a video and you can reply to it for a possible shout out. Today's video, again, I literally got home five minutes before jumping down here to record it. So no shout outs for this video, but for future videos, follow me on Instagram and you'll see when I'm looking for people to message me. I have so much energy right now. I am at a loss for words. As usual, at the end of the video, I have no idea how to end it. It's like a phone call. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye. <laughs>